Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello. Today I would like to share with all of you on how to write an abstract. Why do we write abstracts? Abstracts are important parts of reports and research papers and sometimes academic assignments. The abstract is often the last item that you write but the first thing people read when they want to have a quick overview of the whole paper. We suggest you leave writing the abstract to the end because you will have a clearer picture of all your findings and conclusions. How do I write an abstract? First, reread your paper or report for an overview. Then read each section and condense the information in each down to one to two sentences. Next, Read these sentences again to ensure that they cover the major points in your paper. Next, please ensure you have written something for each of the key points outlined above for either the descriptive or informative abstract. Check the word length and further reduce your words if necessary by cutting out unnecessary words or rewriting some of the sentences into a single more succinct sentence. And last but not least, kindly edit for flow and expression. A good abstract uses one well-developed paragraph that is coherent and concise and is able to stand alone as a unit of information. A good abstract covers all the essential academic elements of the full-length paper, namely the background, purpose, focus, methods, results, and conclusions. A good abstract uses the language of the original paper, often in a more simplified form for the more general reader. Descriptive abstracts. Descri descriptive abstracts are generally used for humanities and social science papers or psychology essays. This type of abstract is usually very short, from 50 to 100 words. More descriptive abstracts have certain key parts in common, which are background, purpose, particular interest or focus of paper, and overview of contents, which is not always included. Whereas the informative abstracts are generally used for science, engineering, or psychology reports. You must get the essence of what your report is all about, usually in about 200 words. Most informative abstracts also have key parts in common. Each of these parts might consist of one to two sentences. The parts include background, aim or purpose of research, method use, findings or results, and conclusion. The table below summarizes the main features of as well as the differences between the two types of abstracts discussed above. In both types of abstract, your lecturer or tutor may require other specific information to be included. Always follow your lecturer or tutor's instruction. We can see here we have background, and then the purpose and aim, and the particular focus of paper. Whereas the informative abstract, we can see the background here, the purpose and aim, methods, results, and conclusions. I hope this kind of information helps the student to write an abstract. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and see you.